Texas ball. Hyman Brown was the project engineer on the Twin Towers, the man on the ground in charge of making sure the buildings were built right, the way it was designed. There was a lot of pride in it, um, and we were doing something that hadn't been done before. But no one ever considered any types of forces like this. Brown, who spent six years building the towers from day one in 1966, says the planes didn't cause the towers to collapse, but rather the fire and tremendous heat that exposed the steel superstructure to forces it could not withstand. Structural steel is fireproof to last between one and two hours, which it did, and then steel melts. But why did these buildings collapse? Buildings that were, went up only 30 years ago that should last for a century or more. It wasn't the explosion, the force of the two planes, structural engineers tell us. It was the heat, the flames there burned too long and too hot, rising above 1,500 degrees. It began to melt the steel, and the floors in the towers were connected to the steel skin on the outside. And as that steel literally melted, that floor gave way, fell on the next, the next, the next, and down they came. That was the structural failure. They were not built to withstand more than 1,500 degrees of heat caused by two planes fully laden with gasoline flying into them on this day here in New York. That's what's left of the World Trade Center, the two 110-story buildings. We continue to say that with a sense of disbelief because it just is hard to imagine that there could be such a complete destruction of those two buildings. But what happened simply is that the structural steel inside probably melted as a result of more than 300,000 pounds of jet aviation fuel exploding like a bomb. The two airliners combined carried about that much fuel when they hit the planes. It made them a guided missile, and they brought down uh, the twin trade towers of the World Trade Center. Engineers suspect the temperatures inside the crash areas could have quickly reached well over 1,000 degrees, perhaps approaching 2,000 degrees beyond the melting point of any steel. The heat would have obliterated the insulation around the structure, the fire suppression system. Once this happened, nothing could save the Twin Towers. The Twin Towers, the World Trade Centers, that could not be uh, destroyed by the impact of the aircraft, but could be destroyed and were destroyed by the fact that this aviation fuel got loose and just, uh, in effect, melted the steel. Right. 1,600 degrees or even more, that melted the steel. As it melted the steel, shell, or frame. That the people who worked on the building, architects and engineers, have told her that the reason this building crashed was l not at all having to do with the, well, not directly having to do with the aircraft which hit it. They actually withstood that. Um, it was not because their very low understructures collapsed as a result of the concussion, but ultimately collapsed because the steel on the top, uh, which was, was exposed to such intense heat largely the result of the aviation gasoline which went into that building along with the aircraft. The heat was so intense that the steel melted and the building began to collapse down unto itself from on top.